I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Samaros 3. This is a uh, point-and-click adventure game by the by a man Amanita Design. You may know them from Machinarium or the earlier Samaros games, uh, or yes, yeah, Barker, or uh, Botanicula is probably my favorite other one. Hello there, little friend. Ah, Barky, Barky, please get down. Psst. Um, a review cap of this game was provided by the developer. Parker, would you please sit down? My cat is invading. Wait. wait. There we go. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Amanita's designs games. I, uh... I played Shy Dwarf, like... I want to say, like, four or five years ago. <laughs> and, uh, their games always have just... Amazing art. <laughs> and they're just always super charming. Let's oh, to zoom in and out, I see. Okay. What's going on? Parker, are you sitting on the keyboard? Ugh. Sorry, that what's space? Oh, spacebar zooms in. Yeah, my cat is always in the way. Okay. Hey, doggy. See, I'm. Oh, I'm probably just gonna show the first 15, 30 minutes. Just gush about it, probably. Uh, I'm not gonna show the whole game, of course, but. Um... This game is on Steam right now. Um, I recommend that you buy it on semaros 3com through the. If you buy through the Humble um, widget on their site, uh, they get a bit more money, and you get a dairy-free version and the Steam key. Parker, would you not do that? What do I do? Oh, you drag it to the sound. Oh, I see. Interesting. So if you haven't played Machinarium or Botanicula, um, or, you know, if you haven't played any Amantina... Ah, I can never say that right. Amanita design games, um, you really should. You can go to their website. Uh, Samarost 1 is actually free. Samarost 2 is only five bucks. Where's the other... Hmm. See, so yeah, other point-and-click adventure games. That should probably be pretty obvious at this point. Parker, what are you doing? That's not a toy. Parker's favorite toys are things that are definitely not at all toys. It's a very fun thing. Um... Don't kill Kirby, Parker. He's a good guy. Let's just put him over there. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Do you see that broken bit there? All right. Ah. Back over. Down a little bit more. <laughs> Something I like about an Amandina Designs games, I, I never really get too lost. Like, they don't have the bad bits of say, Sierra Adventure Games. I love Sierra Adventure Games, but I mean... Uh, <laughs> oops, I didn't mean to cancel an animation. Um, they, you know, they kill you every five minutes, and they have lots of really cryptic stuff. Uh, the many of the designs games are a lot more relaxing, and you rarely have to go beyond the screen you're currently on to find your solution. You can just enjoy and relax, and I, I think... Too few adventure and puzzle games are relaxing. So we got this spooky dude. Oh man, just I absolutely love the art here. If you um, there's a digital deluxe sort of edition that comes with the soundtrack and an art book, you know, digitally of course. Um, <coughs> I'm always a big fan of their art, so personally, I think you should check that out. Um, 
In terms of favorites, I, I think Botanicula. Ghosties. We stretch the ghosties. Oh, they're mushroom ghosties. Sorry, friends. The mushrooms are back. Not sure what that did. The mushrooms are indeed back. It's, I love when there's little extra things you can click on. Can we kick the birdie? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, he's stealing the mushrooms. Let's go kick his butt. Excuse me, sir. Do we make the bees attack him? I have not played the game before, I'm just sort of playing by ear here. Hmm. Maybe we're supposed to make him happy? Oh, is he gonna share with us? There we go. He's not a bad creepy dude after all. Hey, buddy. Knife. Yes. You want the knife? Do I need to get you the knife? Want to go eat in your tent? Mm -hmm. What's this? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so cute. So one thing I always really liked about uh, Mini Nita Designs games, they're always very... Um, I guess we gotta try one of the animals. Hmm. That was very, you know, it's real and unique. Let's try this one. And, um, they're actually, they're, hmm. They're a small game studio based in, um, maybe we need friends. Hang on. Uh, based in the Czech Republic, and, uh, hmm. Sorry, I shouldn't start explaining things when I start a puzzle. <coughs> Aw, rest in peace. So it's not that. Okay, I think we gotta get food before we go eat. That makes sense, right? Hmm. Bah. Wait a minute, you can- he can keep? Wait. What? I'm... mystified. Oh! Oh, you can give him bait! Oh my gosh! That's really cool. Now what? Oh! Yeah. That's not good. Wait, can I just... Let me try something here. Where'd our fire go? Can we... Hmm. Nope.
What if I put this in the way? <clears throat> okay. You see, they look hungry. So I gotta feed the dudes, right? Is that... We cooked it. I'm really not sure what's going on here. Hmm. Yuppie. Oh! Yuppie. Yuppie. I'm not sure what to do. A knife. What gives us a knife? Mm -hmm. Wait, so the state is kind of persistent. Oh, we gotta give them all the food! Oh, God, I'm so stupid. Okay. Alright. So... <laughs> Can I just give them the mushroom? Just have the mushroom? No? Um... So... Somebody has to kill the deer. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Rest in pieces. Uh, that's obviously not it. Can I tempt the deer with delicious mushroom? No. Okay. Let's try this. Right, so this is an interesting little puzzle mechanic. I apologize for getting kind of stuck on it, but I'm starting to get it. So these two were empty. All right, I saw that one before. That's not good. Um, no, excuse you. What do you two do with this? Hmm, that's not helping anybody either. Nope, stop that. Alright, so... Can you just cook the mushroom? Get some nice... Up! Oh! Okay, that... Parker, Parker, get off the keyboard, please. Alright, so we do have some adventure game logic here, but... Uh, not so bad as, you know, a standard Sierra game in the, you know, ridiculousness department. So let's... Oh, we need to cook the fish, of course. Cooked fish. Alright, now we need to kill the elk. I can't believe I didn't think to try and put the... F Whatever. Whoopee yuppie. Alright, so there's this weird thing where if you don't... If you don't put another thing there sort of runs. I wonder... Can I get it tired somehow? And then, you know, shoot it with the thing? Hmm. That's just kind of chilling. Can I give it a mushroom to eat? Oh! 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 Hey! Kill it! It's all sick! Yes! Now it's dead. Now it's cooked. Now it's eaten. Er... <clears throat> now it's eaten! Whoopee yoopee! Now they had a child because they ate four things. That's how babies happen! Okay, now I give them the card. Okay. Got a little stuck there, but not too bad of a puzzle. I just, I wasn't realizing you had to make the food. That, that should have been a lot more obvious than it was. But I got a knife. <clears throat> now do we go back to our house, I guess? The music's really nice and weird, too. Um, yeah, I really like, um, uh, ah, 
a Manita design, and uh, they're one of the reasons I always thought uh, diversity is really important in you know gaming like development, because I mean you just I mean you don't get this sort of game from you know your standard Western developers, and you know, it's always been pretty obvious that you know Japanese games there's a certain you know a few well there's not like one feel to all Japanese games, but you know there's there's a different sort of flavor to it. So okay, this is how we save. Oh, but so if, I mean, if this is what Czech games look like, this, I want more of that. So we got, you know, evil space thing. I guess we should have tried going in the house first, maybe. That that maybe would have been a good idea. So yeah, evil giant space uh, squid, squid octopus, squidopus, eats planets. Then these guys are blowing their horns. They're like, oh, dang, there's a freaking squidopus coming after us. We need to not have that happen to us. We're gonna talk to this guy with his outdoor shower. Uh, he's gonna think really hard at his hand. Then they built a giant robot? Okay. And, you know, they blew their horns and put some spirits into that robot. Look at this guy's nose. Look at that. That is an intense nose. Anyway, they made the robot come to life. And it fought the squid thing and tore it apart. Jeez. All right, then. Then they flew off into space with their, whatever that is, with their puffy blowhog. They went to the moon. And they they took the soul out of the robot and they left it dead on the moon? That seems, it seems excessive. So, so the, the robots on the moon. Or rather, yeah, the dead robots on the moon and the soul is on this little black rock here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's relevant to the story. Is this... Oh, is this like a level select? Oh, this is a save, savey, loady thing. Okay, so that's the story. I guess I should have come in here first. I feel kind of dumb. I just... My instinct is to just go right. Oh. See anything too exciting? Is there? Can we see the moon? Ah, I knew there was something. Can I a little? No, let's zoom in. Is that all we can see? Well, maybe I should leave that in focus and see what this lever does. Oh. Let's see what else we got. We got little, we got other puffy blowhogs going on here. Oh, hello. Oh, that looks unpleasant a little bit. Got a very nearby planetoid. That's interesting. Um, I don't think that zoom level really matters. All right, let's see what's in the third window. Behind door number three, we have. Little floaty space raven. Oh, man. Imagine how awesome it would be to just look outside at night and just see, you know, little floaty space raven. I'd be down for that, as long as they don't, you know, kill us all. Oh, and I have this, we have an inventory system. I kind of glossed over that. How do I? There we go. Is there a fourth position? There it is. Little spaceship going after this like algae whale. So there's just all, always so much cool and creative stuff in all of these the in all of their games. And you might remember the the first Samaras game is free. Second one's five bucks if you want to you know get into the series. Uh, highly recommend basically anything from uh, Amanita Design. I mean, just look at this. Oh, we've got the uh, onion plants over here. Hi, puffy onion plants. Let's go up to the puffy plants. Look at this little pool. Look at the little thing in it. A 
Okay, that... The thing that's inside of it looks a little less peaceful. But, uh, Yeah, listen to it. There you go. Hello, great mushroom spirit. You used to be a floaty thing? You're a spaceship! You used to be a spaceship. I think. I mean, I'm, I'm also a huge sucker for stories without words, and that's something pretty much all of their games do, and just, I love it. It's, I guess it's a dead spaceship. Well, let's get eaten by this fish. Hi, fish. Hi. Aw, oh, it didn't eat me. Okay. Can we go all the way to the right or something? Are we don't down this cliff? We sure can. Hey, old friend. Like I said, I'm not going to show the whole game, but I think we want to see what's up with this old guy and his electronics here. Before we sign out. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. So he's like imagining the biology of what is clearly, you know, just a two liter bottle of pop cut in half. Look at the little bug friend. Hi, bug friend. Oh, we can't climb the things. Wait, can we? We can climb the things? Okay, hang on. I have to climb the things now. Oh. By the way, I'm sorry so many of my videos have been, you know, all congested -y and stuff. Uh, I have pretty much constant allergies and Parker only makes them worse. Um, I'm gonna try, you know, there's only so much I can do about that, really, but, uh, I'm gonna try and, you know, avoid that as much as I can, you know, do more videos while I'm not congested, so. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure what we're doing, but I'm doing it. Let's get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah! <laughs> I knew it would be worth it. I guess it's just an achievement? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, um... I think Botanicula did something kind of like that. Little optional scenes. Oh. Alright, let's see what this old guy wants, and then we'll call it a video. Oh. It's pretty much met all of my expectations as I, well, expected. But yeah. Mm. What do you want? Little friend. You want the spaceship? Number one. We need the chair, we need the we've we've seen some of these. Like Okay. Isn't that this? Yeah, don't I isn't I'm starting to thinking we need the things that we got the sounds from to uh, assemble the spaceship again. This looks so unpleasant. Oh! Cut it! I just noticed he has. It's the same knife. All right, so we have to. Are we out of the cutscene yet? There we go. That's some fine cut in there, Lou. So we have this thing for him. Chair. Uh, we saw. Can I go inside? Where do we... 
So we need a chair. Wait, can I go up there? No. I forgot you could drag and move around the screen. That's a nice touch. Dang, the art is so good. Wait, right. Oh, no, that's just a direction to his house. So we need a chair. Come on, little friend. We need... We need this. Can we just cut this? Can I just have this? Does that solve all of our problems? I'm just gonna see if we can get an easy... If, like, if, if these are easy gets. Alright, I guess there's more specific conditions. Let's see what this does. I must have missed something here. At least that other one was a hint. I'm not sure about these. I assume they are. Oh, that doesn't seem to be helping me. Maybe missing something. Well, this is why. Well, part of why I wasn't gonna show the whole thing. I don't want to show you, get me getting too stuck. But um, in general, in their games, I don't get too stuck. You know, I might spend, you know, ten minutes stuck on one some of the harder things. But generally, they're they're pretty pleasant. Parker. Parker. Um, oh, do I have a chair inside? Um, you know, just relaxing puzzle games. You can just play at your own pace. I I don't have a chair. I have this. I mean, but. What are you doing, friend? Oh! That does work! Okay. <laughs> well, let's see what happens here, then we'll call it a video. I think that lever thing must be that thing at the bridge. Well, you know what? Let's get the lever thing. Let's get the lever thing. But I'm, I'm, I'm a little stumped. Come on, in regards to how what we do with this. Yeah, let's just see if we can remove that lever thing, and then I'll call it a video. Parker, get off the keyboard, honey. Hi doggy. Hi doggy. Oh, you got a bone? Hey. Gimme give, give me the bone, maybe? No, I don't think that's it. Hmm. Can I just can I just take this? Just steal this? <laughs> we sure can. Okay. Hmm. Oh wait, we need bowl thing? Not sure if it's the bowl thing. Hmm. Well, this is Samaros 3. Um, I do definitely recommend checking it out. Check out the other Samaros games. Uh, link in the description for all of that. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, do recommend buying it off of, off of Humble through the through their website instead of through Steam. They just they get a better cut that way. In general, uh, if there's a Humble Bundle or an itch.io link, uh, I do strongly recommend that. Because you get a DRM-free copy, you get to support the developer more, and you still get your Steam key. So, you know, win, win, win. Yeah, what's, what are your thoughts, Parker? Hmm? Hmm? You never meow when I want you to. He meows a lot, I promise, but just not while I'm recording. 